All right, I thought I'd talk for a bit about hate speech and Theresa May's claim that what we need to do in response to terrorism is to crack down on online hate speech. <clears throat> so I think this is obviously going to be counterproductive. I think the problem we have at the moment is entirely caused by hate speech, like laws, regulations, etc. Um, the problem we have now is that a lot of the public don't feel like they can talk about things. So we've got a situation where when some sort of terrorist attack happens, all we can really do is say, oh, that's a shame, and move on, because anything else is considered hate speech. So, with that in mind, there's not really any way to analyse the problem currently, or analyse it accurately, because speech is being limited, and how can you discuss something if you have limited speech surrounding it, you know? Like, the most effective leaders are the ones who say, right, bring me all your ideas, no matter what they are. No judgement. And then we'll go through them and find the best ideas. If you're taking ideas off the table by calling them hate speech, you are inevitably not going to be assessing the situation with all your capability. So you're going to end up with a less reasonable response. So that's what I think about that. Um, I think they're saying we should have these laws to stop online radicalization, which almost makes sense, except it's just going to cause radicalization of a different kind. You're going to end up with groups of people who feel like they can't say anything in public, so they're going to say it in private, and they're going to push themselves to the extreme because they know the government isn't willing to even listen to what they have to say because it's being deemed hate speech. And if you call someone a monster long enough, they will inevitably become the monster. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. So I think even with the best intentions, it's just not going to work out. I'm not sure what the actual solution is. There probably is radicalization going on online. Um, so it's a tricky one. They want to ban encryption. Which I don't have a problem with, honestly. I mean, you know, people like to ridicule if you've got nothing to fear idea. Or if you've got nothing to hide, you've got nothing to fear. And it is true to an extent. But if people were getting arrested for saying things that weren't really radical, uh, I imagine there would be some outrage over that. Maybe. So I think it is a legitimate reason to survey people, I guess. But it's hard to say. It's really hard to say. That's the thing. Because all you need to do is get the public on your side and you can shut down anything. But then having encryption just means you're going to get these underground groups forming. And while some of them you might think, yeah, they are morally viable, I guess. Um, anyone would say that about their own ideas, their own ideology. They would all say it's morally viable. So the better idea is to have those discussions in the open. Then we don't need encryption. Because you shouldn't be afraid of saying something to your government. 
or you shouldn't be scared of saying something and having your government overhear it. So that is the issue. It's not whether you can say stuff without the government overhearing it. It's whether you have the right to say stuff with the government overhearing it. Because it shouldn't affect you in any way, no matter what you're saying. As long as you're not, like, inciting people to violence or whatever. But that... <sighs> that's a sketchy one as well, because you can just redefine what inciting to violence is. But if you were having an open discussion... Society as a whole would reach those conclusions. Whereas currently it's kind of led by the um the government, I guess. Which is kinda of backwards. We should be telling the government what it's okay for us to talk about. It shouldn't be the government telling us what it's okay to talk about. I think that is the key the key difference that needs resolving. But I don't know how you'd do that. Um, that's what we need to do. It's the hate speech laws themselves that are causing this problem. It's not... Increasing them is not going to help. It's just going to make matters worse, unfortunately. And it's a shame that people don't really see that. <sighs>